to my channel Fat to Health. This is my weight loss diary and this week has been a little bit of a disaster. My head just has not been what it should be. I, I just don't seem to be able to concentrate at all this week. I've been making so many different mistakes and, and I start one thing, I wander off and start something else without finishing the first thing off. I've been forgetting things. It's just been really crazy. And on Monday, I got up and I, I had a whole list of things. Well, I didn't actually write them down. I should have done. Um, and I thought to myself, right, okay, the first thing I need to do is to get my video out, which I did. It was a little bit later than I, than I should have put out. I then thought to myself, I'll just get ready, I'll have a nice shower, and what I'm going to do is going to pop to the supermarket and get a whole week's worth of shopping, I know what I'm going to get, and then I'm going to pop round to my daughter's, let Barney out for a wee and a poo, I didn't need to take him for a walk this week, um, and that was going to be it, and I was going to come home, cook a nice meal, Richard was going to come home from his early shift, we was going to have dinner, and then I was going to just potter around and just, you know, the rest of the day was mine. Um, and so I got up and I kind of started doing one thing and then not finishing it off, going into the other room and doing something else, and, and I really fuzzy for some reason. And I got ready eventually. And I text Richard and said, hi babes, I'm now going shopping. Is there anything you want or would you like to come with me? And he said, oh, wait, wait, and I'll come with you. So I thought, right, okay, fabulous. And um, I just sat back down and just, I was doing a little bit of research on YouTube and, and the algorithms and how they work. And don't ask, please don't ask. And, uh, and the next thing I know, the door goes, Hey baby, Richard's home. I look at the clock, it's half past two. I thought, oh, my baby's home. So I stood up and as I stood up, the realization of just come over me. Barney! I forgot to let him out. And in a sheer panic, I thought, oh my God, my God, my body's not, oh, he's not going to, he's been sat there waiting for a wee and a poo, a poor, poor thing. It's only been four hours, to be fair, but it's just the fact that I'd completely forgot. I felt terrible. So with that, I grabbed my keys, grabbed my coat and said, Richard, I've got to go. I've got to go. He said, all right, well, I'll come with you. I was very aware that he just got home from a whole day's work. I was very aware that he was hungry, he was tired, and he wasn't feeling very well. And so it kind of felt really guilty about it. So I, I wasn't putting my foot down, but I was trying to get there as quickly as possible, and I was really in a panic. When I get there, I have to explain this. I don't have a front door key because it's a special key that only one person is allowed to have. So in order for me to get into her flat, she leaves it in her post box, which is inside the building of flats. And I've got a key, a special key to get into her letter box. So I take that out, I go in, let the dog, uh, let Barney out for a wee and whatever. And I went back in, made sure he had water and it, that he was okay. I locked the door, took it back and just posted it through the letter box. No problem. Got back in the car, went to start the car. Car wouldn't start. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Where are my keys? And all of a sudden, I realized they were inside the flat, which I couldn't get into because I just posted her front door key. So with that, I had to ring my daughter and find out what time she was gonna finish work. Three hours later, we ended up having a McDonald's. So I didn't have any chips, I didn't have any starter or any dessert, no ice cream as I would have done before. I would have had chips, ice cream, 
um, a milkshake as well. I'd have had a big burger, and I, but I didn't. I had five chickens select because that was the best thing on the on the menu, and um, and it filled me up, so it was no problem. Then we went shopping, and then we came home, and all was okay. So that's why I have nothing to show you apart from when I got back, I thought. I really needed to find out how much I'd eaten because it wasn't planned at all. So I went onto my NutriCheck and I put in everything that I'd had for the day. And I was quite surprised that I had quite not as many calories as I thought I had. So I was okay about that. So that was Monday. Hello, it's Wednesday and I've got up and I feel like getting on my indoor bike today. I'm done. I'm done. Half hour and I loved every minute. So here we are and guess who I'm with today? Bunny. He's there. So it's near to Christmas. Oh my goodness me. Hasn't it come round really, really quick? 2020. This year, Richard and I decided that we wouldn't put Christmas decorations up. We wouldn't put a Christmas tree up. More for his benefit than mine. I do love a Christmas tree, but to be honest, putting it all up, putting it all down, putting all the, I, I, usually, I get really stressed. Last year, I was lucky enough that my gorgeous daughter came and she helped me with the decorations, which was really, really nice. But this year, if I could just come home and find it all done, that'd be amazing. Not that I'm lazy, it's just that I'm not very good with, with doing things like that. It's, I'm not artistic in that sort of way. So we're not having anything done. But we thought that over Christmas period, we both got two weeks, we're gonna do as much walking as possible, as much cycling as possible, obviously weather permitting, and we want to enjoy life outdoors. And then so when we come home, we can have a nice dinner and we can relax and watch anything on the telly. You know, it's just having a really nice relaxing time, no stress. So we're kind of really looking forward to Christmas this year. It seems a little stressful, stressless, shall I say, not stressful, stressless. Oh, oh. <laughs> I really threw the ball far. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? So yeah, that is us for Christmas. Oh, well, yesterday we had a lovely beef casserole and I had mine with mashed potatoes and um, steamed vegetables. It was rather nice, actually. Um, today, because we've got some left over, I thought, mm, yum, 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 yum. Add some more beef. Beef? What's beef? Beef. Add some more beef. And I have decided to add lots of curry powder 
some curry powder and a little bit of cumin, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and turn it into a lovely curry. And, um, well, I don't know if it's lovely. It may be not very nice. So I'm gonna have it with a jacket potato and see how it tastes. If it tastes really nice, I shall make it again, maybe next week, and I shall put up the recipe for that. But I won't do today, because I ain't got time. I ain't got time, I tell you, I ain't. Look at that, I just walked in. Funny. I just walked in and my daughter has this on the side. <sighs> Hello, Barney. Hello, do you wanna go for wee wee? Oh, I've just been to Sainsbury's and they got lots of Christmas uh, uh, songs playing and everyone sort of like seemed to be jolly da, 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 or singing along and I went in to have a look at some clothes not just for myself but um, for Christmas presents and I went in there and I was all happy and got my got my lot and then I started drifting into the food aisle and I just felt lost I suddenly thought oh, what am I doing I just felt like I'd either forgotten something, or I was meant to be doing something, or... And I thought, oh, no, I don't really need anything. It took me a while, and I had to stand there and really think hard. So anyway, I came out, I paid for my clothes, I came out, and just dawned on me, the reason that I'm standing there wondering what I'm supposed to be doing, I say something's missing, is because I normally go and grab so much food. I would normally be in there getting a big bag of crisps with dips to eat just on my five minute journey home. I'd be getting a whole bag of chocolate to stuff in my face before Richard got home or I, it's just, it's just, I don't know. I just suddenly feel really excited that I've made that connection. The reason why I just stood there thinking, I'm supposed to be doing something now. It's what I was doing. That's why I stood there. It's just great. Great. <laughs> Off home now with my jagged potato and my curry. Mm. I love you. I love you, baby. Mwah, 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 mwah.